Hi, Virgo. Welcome to your September podcast. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs as well. Virgo, let's take a look because it, it feels magical. It feels like a, a sudden burst, a, an inspiration, an epiphany. It feels like something that is bringing a sense of playfulness, joy into your life. It's uh, with the card of Halcyon. And for the benefit of my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify, it's a, a mermaid here. She's surrounded by butterflies. So I'm feeling this sense of metamorphosis. It feels like emerging, coming out of your cocoon. There may be an energy here of perhaps being uh, alone for too long, Virgo, needing to step out and join in, in the community because we have the card of the communal dance from the Journey of Love Oracle. And the communal dance is about joining together with others. It feels to me like, it. well, it could be uh, joining the community. But it could be going out and enjoying a group of people. Or it could be one person in particular. We'll see where this goes. But the overall feeling that I'm getting with it, this burst of magic, is this sudden knowing, a sense that... Uh, a sense that you're doing the right thing. It's a sudden call to be out and about. And, uh, you know, we can all use that, I think, uh, really at the moment. So uh, as long as there's safety involved here, a Virgo, of course, in this day and age, you're being called to, to get out there. It feels like a sudden waking up, like a, that lightning bolt, perhaps out of the blue here. A truth that has previously eluded you. And it brings to... Uh, brings to the sense here of power, something that calls to you, lights you up, Virgo. So let's see where this goes, guys. So a really nice energy. Could be you, could be someone around you, of course, if you're cross-watching. Uh, you may be noticing a change in, in a Virgo around you. At the bottom of the deck, we've got that Two of Swords. So there is that sitting on the fence, not really knowing what to do. You may have been there for a while here, Virgo. It feels quite uh, desolate, it feels isolated. I'm looking at this card and as a woman, she's on this rocky kind of stony shore and it's a very gray looking card. And what I'm seeing around this is that when it comes to thinking, when it comes to deciding what to do, we often find ourselves in that place where we need to be alone, where we need to isolate ourselves, hopefully not for too long, and uh, in order to make a choice, in order to be clear in our mind. So I'm seeing that as you, I'm seeing that as your energy in the recent past. Now we've got the, the Emperor here. So if looking at these two cards, and again, for my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify, it's, it's a contrast because we have the Two of Swords, which is very gray and bleak. This woman is blindfolded. She's in drab attire. And the Emperor card is this rather uh, fiery looking energy. It's a, a man sitting on his throne here with his uh, wand. And he has antlers. So it rec recognises this person's strength, their power. And not only that, but there's a volcano erupting behind him. So it feels like this eruption. It feels like an eruption of passion, an eruption of enthusiasm here, Virgo. Again, it can be you, can be someone around you. Let's cut these cards and see what's uh, going on here. The energy is around Virgo for the month of September. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Cups. So it's very slow or maybe even a lack of love in the recent past. Not, not acting on opportunities around you. That Ace of Cups is calling to you here, Virgo. It feels like uh, that higher calling. It feels like something being handed to you from, uh, from spirit here. And it's allowing you to to feel something to feel to feel emotions to feel good to feel in the flow of life getting back out there enjoying the company of people who are i want to say opening you up to to different levels of knowing i feel like this is much more higher vibrational energy than perhaps you've experienced here so it could be that 
the people that you've been around in the past were not serving you, Virgo. Let's see what else we have. We've got justice. Re rebalancing the scales. Putting things right where there was a lack of balance in your life. Where things felt unfair where things felt like you weren't getting your your just recognition or reward for past good deeds. It feels like this is something that is coming your way. I feel like it is a reward, recognition. Justice, I really like that for you, Virgo. Why? Because I'm feeling this sense of power with this card. I'm also feeling a sense of making choices that are Acting from a place of integrity, I, I get it as this you, this is you making sure that you're acting in your own best interests and in the best interests of other people too, but more so for you. I do get a, an energy around this as well of something that's going to pay off for you. This, this choice that you're making here, uh, Virgo, it, it feels like it's going to pay off for you. And the reason why I'm, I'm sensing that is because at the foot of this this robed figure on the justice card there's a little mouse and he has this uh, I feel it's a piece of wheat and wheat record well re wheat when we think about wheat we think about prosperity we think about the harvest right so that's why I feel that's why I feel you've got two ways to go here Virgo you can choose something that is not going to provide abundance that is going to in fact create almost like a uh, I'm getting an image in my mind of like a plague uh, it's quite harsh but that's what I'm sensing like a plague of mice like something that gnaws away uh, disease bad karma all of that and then there's another way that you can go which is the more balanced way and that is being more authentic to who you are as a person more of that higher vibrational energy and that's going to pay off when it comes to your abundance later on down the track the three of pentacles yeah there's that uh, community energy that i was picking up the communal dance working together with others here of virgo so if you have felt that you've been alone for too long, your, your card is the Hermit, of course. And uh, Virgo, it's not that you mind being alone all that much, but I think it's time now for you to, to rejoin the community and uh, surrender. Surrender to being around other people. Because I do feel that for you, you're being asked to, to join in the cosmic dance here. Not forgetting your individuality, your own uniqueness. I feel that it's only going to be enhanced by people that are around you. Yeah, it feels like a, a celebration. It feels like a sense of belonging, recognizing that you're part of something. And uh, it, it recognizes also that it's a time for you to grow. You know, the thing is when we when we stay isolated, when we stay alone, it feels safe, yes, but it prevents us from actually growing. You know, when you think of an ace, for instance, it's it's something that is there, there's potential. But what makes it grow, it's the two. It's the balance, it's the duality, it's bringing things together. So I feel like this is bringing people together, perhaps bringing two people together, or more than two. And it feels like that sense of belonging, it creates warmth. So you're being drawn into something new here that's more aligned with your uh, spiritual vibration. You'll feel more at home there. And uh, also be able to share your gifts and talents with this Three of Pentacles. So yes, it, it does feel like you'll be receiving that recognition, that reward, right, with the Three of Pentacles. People will see you for the, the talents that you bring. And I think that that's what you're really looking for here, Virgo, especially when it comes to your career. Opening up opportunity, seeing you as someone that has a unique set of talents and gifts. Let's see what the past energy is. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Well, you, your wheel was blocked. 
I do feel that there was something there that was keeping you from change. Whatever that was, it feels like something that felt like safety. It felt like security, but it ultimately was holding you back, limiting your potential. And I do feel that you've had some kind of moment of clarity after spending this time alone, where you now see where you need to change, where you, where you're, uh, where you need to focus your energies, and it's more on opening up. And I feel that it's in relation to not only work but also love here with that Ace of Cups. In the future, we've got the Ten of Swords. I like this for you because it speaks to me of ending pain. So if you've been going through a long period of feeling, feeling hurt, um, dealing with painful experiences, an ending, if you've been dealing with uh, grief, with loss, with anything that feels like it's been ongoing, very painful, even if, if it's a health issue as well, this feels to me like that dawning of the new day. It feels like that light. It's always darkest before the dawn, of course, we know that. So I feel like you've recently hit that rock bottom, experienced that that deep hurt. But the, the main thing that I'm picking up here, Virgo, is you don't have to, to continue. This feels like change. If you don't block this Ace of Cups, this flow, because the, there's definitely an energy here of the universe wanting to put things back into balance in your life. But you have to be open to it. You can't miss out on the opportunity or not act on it. Let's see what else we have. The hanged man, well that's you. It's earth energy, you know, you see this in this card. And for the benefit of my listeners on Apple and Spotify, it's, it's the traditional viewing of the, the Hanged Man, if you think of it in terms of the Rider Waite deck. But in this deck, he's actually quite rooted into the ground here, attached to a very strong foundation. And it's this giant oak tree or some kind of tree here. I feel it's an oak. And it feels to me like getting yourself into a place where something has made you look at things very differently. So you've recently experienced something which which shook. It, 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 it shook you out of complacency, Spirit is saying. It gave you this realization, this epiphany. Now you'll see this rays of light on this man's head here. So by looking at things a different way, he's now seeing what needs to change, where there's been a block. So I like this energy for you. Now around you, there's your card, the Hermit, or Merlin, as he is in this deck. I do feel that you've had to distance, distance yourself recently in order to see things more clearly. So you've taken yourself out of the game for a bit so that you could really analyze your life, your past, your past choices, and get a handle on what it is you need to, to learn, uh, where it is that you've been perhaps feeling that you've been going wrong, and understand where you need to go to next, you know, what's your next step on the journey. So it feels like that, it feels like uh, it feels like you have been in that place for maybe quite some time with this hangman. The hangman and the, the hermit here does represent knowledge, but it's knowledge gained at quite a high price because it, you may have felt quite isolated and out of the loop for a while. And if you've been in that Ten of Swords energy at the same time, that can feel very difficult, a very harsh kind of energy. But the good news is that's what's coming towards you here. And I feel it's starting in the month of September if you choose to take it. Is that change? Your hopes here, the lovers, very nice. 
And look at all this major arcana, guys. Uh, it feels like it's a turning point for you. It feels like making a choice to... Again, I get... Uh, I'm looking at this card of the communal dance and I'm looking at the lovers here. They're around the same tree that this hanged man was hanging from, but this time he's not alone, he's got another person. So I feel like this is making a choice to be with someone who... I, I get a very spiritual connection actually from this, guys, with this major arcana. It feels like a higher vibrational kind of relationship. So it's not anything that's superficial. This feels like it's based in, in something that is deeply rooted. I also feel with this communal dance card that this is the joining together of two people in that cosmic dance of a relationship, harmony, bringing uh, love and, and companionship. So Virgo, wow, beautiful energy. The outcome, we've got the Queen of Swords, but it's in the reverse. Goodness. You know, the Queen of Swords is, is an energy that is like the, uh, it's, it's like a widower or a, uh, a widow or a, a divorcee, someone who's alone. And when it's reversed, it speaks of bitterness. Bitterness because they're alone, feeling and uh, not ready to, uh, not ready to be in love. It feels very closed off and, and it feels very cold energy as well. So let's see guys, so that, that could be you, it could be someone that's around you, perhaps you're looking for love with this person but yet uh, they seem cold. But let's take a look, I'm going to get a card on that uh, Queen of Swords in reverse as the outcome for Virgo. We've got the moon in reverse. More major arcana. Yeah, wow. It, it feels... It feels like fear. It feels like... Risk. Taking a chance. I feel this Queen of Swords is your energy. Whether you're male or female. It's something that you're internalising. And it feels cold, it feels desolate, it feels isolated, and it also feels it's coming from a place of fear, fearing opening up, fearing rejection, fearing being hurt again. All of the reasons why we keep ourselves isolated, separate from, rather than joining with others. So yeah, it feels like you, but of course it can be uh, the other way around. So it seems like there is something that wants to come into you here, Virgo. It feels, it feels magical. You may not be trusting it though. It's this, this sudden burst of energy that kind of hits you. Now with the card of Halcyon, with this one it's about a transformation of course with all of these butterflies. It's a transformation which brings you a sense of freedom. So where your life's become stagnant, you do have the ability to make a positive change. And of course, now's that time. Now, of course, you face challenges along the way with that Ten of Swords. You may have even come across barriers, uh, maybe even around people. You know, you may have tried to, you may have attempted to be with someone here who was not accepting. But the energy around this is, you know what? That person may not have been accepting, but that's no reason not to, to close yourself off fully from love. Yeah, I feel it's some kind of persisting energy around that. It's something that you shouldn't give up on. You shouldn't give up on reaching this goal of love. So just because you've experienced uh, I do pick up some rejection here from someone around you. It's it's about not giving up on, on love. Yeah, a burst of magic. It's that sudden realisation of something that needs to change in, in your life. And it is about making sure that, uh, that you don't close yourself off to being with somebody else or being with other people. 
Let's see, I'm going to get a card from the, the Gateway Oracle. For you, Virgo. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. If you're watching on YouTube, please like, share and subscribe if you're a newcomer. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to check out my channel memberships as well. You can click on the join button below for more information. I've got perks there as well. So if you'd like to become a member of the Gypsy Insights team, uh, be sure to click on that link as well. Listening with your heart. Trusting the messages that you receive from your heart. Yeah. Not closing off that heart chakra. Being open to it with that Ace of Cups. There's something that wants to flow in here. It does speak about lighting up, lighting up your, your heart energy. It feels good. It feels like it, it brings that spark of life, that passion, that enthusiasm. But with all of this energy around you of perhaps thinking too much, being into, into your head too much about this without feeling, that's what's going to be the downfall here. If you listen too much to your thoughts, if something doesn't look... Well, I get this energy from spirit. When it comes to making this decision, Virgo, make sure you're not acting from a place of just fearing the worst, right? Because if you fear the worst, then, then you will self-sabotage. And thereby this relationship either won't get going or it will it will be I get a sense here of resisted resistance so it's a choice if you lead with your heart here if you're open to it if you're not too closed off if you're not too clinical or detached around this this new opportunity then I feel that for you it's going to be a good outcome for those Virgos who remain detached remain closed off are in their head you know over analyzing the situation thinking of the worst thinking of how this could go wrong all of the putting a lot of negative energy into it then that's going to lead to rejection so the choice really here is yours are you going to open up to this more emotional energy that's coming into you and work together with others? Be, be receptive, trust, open up your, your heart again to, to love or are you going to remain closed off and thereby block this opportunity? It seems like the opportunity is here for you to bring about vast change in your life. I do think that there's going to be a moment when you realize that you need to take action here and listen with the heart, go with that heart and trust, trust again. So I'm going to leave it there for you Virgo and wish you all the very best. Don't forget if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching, like, share and subscribe and special thank you to my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify. Please be sure to check out my YouTube channel for more readings, Gypsy Insights by Michelle. Wishing you the best with this Virgo. Please take care. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.